you have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 334th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, <laughs> and most importantly, monetize your plumbing business. Hey, it's great to have you here with us. Hey, already they're checking in. That's right. Hey, if you're with us live, please type live in the comments. Let us know you're, you're part of the live social audience. All right, if you're catching the replay... All right, at a later date, mm -hmm. please type replay. Let us know you caught it. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Just keep on listening. All right. Hey, hey, hey Kathy. sweetheart. Hey, honey. Hey, it's good to have everybody here. Roadrunner yes. Plumbing is in the house. Yes. That's right. Roadrunner Chris Plumbing. and Kathy Copeland. San Antonio, Texas. All right, cool. Miss Tanner. Hi, Ashley. Hey, good to have you here, Ashley. Yeah. All right. Hey, it's and good to have you here Lance. as well, sweetheart. Thanks. Hey, I'm looking forward to this. Like, I can't wait to bring on our guest here. I know, me too. All hey, right, what, what's the title of the, our, let's see, our episode? Our show. Of, yeah, Grab Them at Hello. Grab Them at Hello. All right, we have a CSR expert, mm -hmm. all right, it's and good. who's also providing a very needed solution. Yes. And for we'll explain for plumbing business owners. Mm -hmm. All right. You're gonna, you don't want to miss this one. Stick around. All right. Oh, it's gonna be good. good stuff here. It's going to be nuggets of gold here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have some fun. Mm -hmm. All right. But I have to know, is everybody else tired? <laughs> Can you, uh, hey, Aaron. Because we were just before the show. My like, gosh, I'm so tired. This is past our I, bedtime. <laughs> Normally we're in bed by now. With the, with but the we're, time we fall back or whatever. Oh, yeah. my goodness sakes. It's right. killing me. Hey, Johnny. And hey, Patrick. Patrick. Good to have you here live, man. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Um, and it's like all of a sudden, Cold weather said, at least in Florida here. I know. Hey, Kelly Ball. It's supposed to be sunny. Our favorite ball. As well, yeah. Bobby. And Bobby. Um, <laughs> it's supposed to Love be you, sunny man. weather here in Southern, Cal Southern <laughs> California. No. Yeah. Where do we live? Southern Florida. Southwestern Florida. Yes. Hey, KO Plumbing, live from New Jersey. Hey, KO. All right. Nice to see you. Another Jersey boy. But anyway, it's been a little, it's been mm -hmm. a little cold. Dylan, all yes. right. Bahama hey, Plumbing, new uh -huh. plumber. New plumber, new all right. plumber, new plumbing business owner. Was well, hmm? with Bahama Plumbing, so oh. I'm, I'm hoping you're a new plumber because that's oh, a good company. Yeah. Oh, okay. The dynamic trio. <laughs> that's right. All right. Okay, Lance is tired. Very tired. I know. There's minute. something. Man, it's just something. Hey, about... but we were still up at early and at it. Got yeah, our got our workout in. Uh -huh, we sure did. All right. We did it. <laughs> and I had a good workout in. And, I know, but as right. soon as the show's over, we're in bed. We're crashing. I'm just saying. So, well, we stayed up late watching um, Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Okay, is anybody a Yellowstone fan? Anyone else give us that? That's important. We need to know that on this episode. That's Anyone true. else a Yellowstone fan? Yeah, surely, to goodness. Yeah. There's Yellowstone fans. And, okay, so if you are a Yellowstone fan, who's your favorite character? Okay. Hmm? Huh? Yes. Okay, yes, he's yes, our, 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 with Bahama. Good. Okay, so yes, if you watch Yellowstone, right, welcome. which the season premiere, season, or, um, season four, right, yep. was last night. Um, so yeah, that was that was pretty fun. Hey, Miss Carrie. Hey, Carrie. Thanks. Right Carrie. back at you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. But yeah, had a good time. In fact, we were with some of our um, some other uh, PPCs. MB peers. We were. MB, like, MB, hey, MB, right. Mm -hmm. Right. Tarinas. Route sixty six plumbing. Some hunts. And All right. Some the hunts. Uh, plums up. Plumbing. Yep. Okay. We had a little. Um, and then the Carters. Yellowstone. Carters plumbing. Yep. Right. Had a little Yellowstone party. All and right. BJ from. BJ. Amarillo, Texas, made us a lovely uh, Texas brisket. Yeah, it was only so, only only a Texas can, can do. do. So yeah, that was lovely. Yeah. Haven't seen it, but told I'd like it. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know, Lance, if you would actually. Oh. <laughs> you, uh, uh, well, we have to talk about it, Lance. We'll have yes. to see. Um, yeah. Bobby says love Yellowstone. So yeah, if you watch Yellowstone again, who's your favorite character, guys? Um, is that, is that our question? Some... Who's your favorite Yellowstone character? <laughs> Mike, I'm new to Success Mike. Academy. Can't wait to grow, grow, grow. Hey. All right. All right. Well, welcome. Love hearing welcome, that. Welcome, Mike. Mike to Tonini? Tonini. I'm assuming right. Tonini. That's a fun name. What's good the name for, of your for business, you, man. Mike? Welcome, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to hear. So and Keep keep an eye on you, man. Mm -hmm. so. And you're in the right spot, most assuredly. Um, Costner is the best in Yellowstone, without a doubt. Plumbing huh. explained. Okay. <laughs> okay, look at his little icon. Oh, my right. goodness. Um, Costner is the best character. Well, I don't know about that. I'm kind of liking me some Rip. Yeah, who's your Rip? <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, Rip's your guy. <laughs> Rip, thank you, Bobby. <laughs> right. Rip, uh, yeah. And Beth. I mean, come on. Beth. Seriously. 
Yeah, doesn't everybody, every girl want to be Beth? She's a like, BA. Be to yeah, she is. Lay it out. So yep. anyway, we do have a question so, for tonight. What was our question do tonight? Do not? Yeah, we have our question up there. Miss mm-hmm. Shelby, you got it? Yes. Who answers your phones? Who answers okay. your plumbing business phones? Okay. Mm-hmm. When the phone rings, who answers it? Yes. Is it plumbing business owner? Yeah. Is it uh, maybe the wife? Or is it? If someone else. A CSR. What do you What do you have? You, so let us know. Yes, please let us know. Okay. We know the answer to that. And hopefully it's not the plumber, plumber business plumber. owner. Yeah. I'll just say it. That's the worst person on the phones. Mm-hmm. Right, in fact, that's one of the first things we work at is mm-hmm. getting you off the phones. Yeah, because you're really, really You're really killing it, man. It. You're yes. killing it. <laughs> and not in a good way. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're killing it in a bad way. Right. Very, very bad. That, but we have a solution. That long black train. That's what you're doing <laughs> to your plumbing business. Those oh, Yellowstones fans <laughs> yeah, will understand that reference. Right. Carmen, my wife. Um, yes, the lovely Good. Melissa, I do believe. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, CSR, she rocks. Yes. Okay, we love hearing that. As long as it's Good. not the, the plumbing business owner. But if you are, I mean, everybody's got to start somewhere. That's where we start. Right. Ashley says our CSR. Mm-hmm. Yep. We can I like hearing that. That's good. So, but, but we've got a solution tonight. Yeah, we do. Do we not? So let's bring her, let's bring her on. I can't mm-hmm. wait to bring her on Boy. here. Boy. All right, hey, Miss <laughs> Wife Troy, very good. Yes. All right. Um, wife answers the phone at Plumbing Explained. Plumbing Explained. All right. Is that the name of your plumbing business? I need to know that. Right. Plumbline. Plumbline. Perfect segue. There we Kathy go. Copeland. Cut to. <laughs> that was perfect. Well, let's welcome Miss <laughs> Sarah Delney. She is a CSR expert. <laughs> mm-hmm. She's also co-founder of Mountaineer Plumbing. So, yes, she knows a thing or two about plumbing. Mm-hmm. But uh, she's also the co-founder and president of Plumbline, mm-hmm. all right, a CSR solution for you and your plumbing business. Welcome, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. Going great. Okay, good. Welcome to the show. Good. Glad to have you on. Thank right. you. Thank it, you. Is the other one, is the other one lurking around the, behind you there, or where's the other oh, one? Oh, yeah, is he's it? around. He's yeah, around yeah. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine he wouldn't be far. Well, it's good to if, who I'm alluding to, Matt Delney. Matt Delney, the other half of yep. um, Mountaineer Plumbing. He's been, has been on the program before. Mm-hmm. All the master's right. Program, right, yes. on the master's program. Mm-hmm. But we have the, the true master, Miss <laughs> Sarah Delney, on with us about tonight. That. All right. <laughs> Maybe yeah, with we, the phones. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and I agree with Kathy. Yep, mm-hmm. Sarah and, and, and the team, team rocks. rocks. Yes, yes, they do. Uh-huh. All right. Hey, Sarah, great uh, company, thanks, Plumbline. Guys. All right. Hey, well, so, why don't you explain? Why don't you, what is Plumbline? What is Plumbline? What, what is Plumbline? Tell us. Yes. Yeah, so I'll give you kind of like a, a simple answer. We are a 24-7 answering service uh, specifically for plumbing companies. Um, and our we have one goal, which is to book the call and help your company thrive because we know you don't have much of a company if you don't have jobs, right? Right. So that's our number one goal is just simply to book the job for your company and we do everything the MDP way as we have grown our plumbing company with MDP and we found that is simply the best way to book the call and get your guys work. Perfect. You see, that, so. you see how they hooked me? Mm-hmm. I love that. I <laughs> <laughs> love when people tell you that you're right. So, but why? So, that is a great, and it's so much is needed. I, I know you, you saw that. Maybe that, I, I don't want to answer the question, but I, why did you start Plumbline? Mm-hmm. Yes. You know? Yeah, we saw, we just saw a huge um, need and quality, uh, in, in, a, in a quality answering service. We'd used a couple before, they were okay, but we said we can do better. Uh, we we know better. We have a system, and that's what we're gonna do. Mm. So we did that. We did that, and we hired CSRs that love their job, and they sound like they love their job on the phone. So um, mm. yeah. that's I mean it was just a huge need, and so we just thought we could fill it. Right, because you came from I mean most of the, the I mean, you came from a small plumbing company. Your company so relatively mm-hmm. small, right? I mean you mm-hmm. started with just you and Matt, and then have have grown yep. it over the last year and a half. Um, but the issue was getting the phones answered um, on a timely basis, right, in a timely manner, and efficiently yep. and effectively, right? Um, and so, yep. and, and being a part of the MDP group, you were seeing that others were experiencing the same issues you guys were experiencing, right? Yes. So, hence Plumbline yep. came to be. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. To get the plumbers off the phone and to get the wives off the phone as well, because a lot of wives have kids. I mean, I was answering the phone when we started. Um, it was horrible. I have four little kids. At that time, I had two. It was equally as horrible trying to answer the phone, <laughs> running away. You know, it's just not professional. And and all the companies that we work with, all the companies that are following the MDP way, 
um, they're professional companies and they need to be represented as such on the phone. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing that we, we talk to our CSRs about is makes a big difference who answers the phone in the beginning. If they hear chaos in the background, it doesn't sound very professional. Mm -hmm. You lose mm -hmm. trust. Right. If it, you sound professional when the, when the phone is answered, it makes it easier on the plumbers. And so you've got CSRs that are all, all over the country, right? Yeah, we have some in different states. A lot of them are in Michigan, but we have 24-7 covered. So every shift, every hour, multiple people. So, okay. and, and you're finding um, CSRs that um, people that want to stay home, right? I mean, we've got a lot of issues yep. with you know, the workforce. People aren't wanting to go out and, and work for certain companies that may be mandating some certain things, right? And so want to kind of Absolutely. Um, be able to work at home and, right. and not be faced with that issue. So you're getting quality yep. CSRs. Yes, we're getting quality and overqualified people to work for us, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and the, they really do love their job. That's, mm -hmm. you know, the CSRs that we hired, they are passionate about it. I mean, it's it's fun watching them. They have competitions on booking rates and because mm -hmm. they want to represent your company well. Because, mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, owning a plumbing company and doing this, we really drill into them the importance this makes for the company. Like, this is someone's livelihood. You need to take this very serious and, mm. and do your job well. Right. That's it's something that, that we really it's not we just teach answering them. the phone and whatever. It's yeah, yes. that, that this is this is their their livelihood. And again, most of your your clients yeah. are smaller smaller shops, so every phone yeah. does matter, right? That's yeah, right. and we know that firsthand. So I feel it in my heart when the phone is dead. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so every call is important. <laughs> every single call, yes. And you more, you've paid yes. for that call somehow, some way. You've paid for that yep. call to come in. So, right? absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Well, what's one of the, you know, you've been answering the phones for, for a while, you know, for Mountaineer, and mm -hmm. you're involved in this and doing this. What, what's a what's a big mistake that that we make in answering our own phones that, that you seem that you notice across the board? Mm -hmm. The biggest thing would be not taking control of the call, letting mm -hmm. the customer talk, talk, talk. You know, most of the time when they call, they're panicked something has disrupted their day, they're panicking, and the last thing they want to hear is someone else panicked on the end of the phone. Because mm -hmm. they don't know what they're doing. You know, the average person calls a plumber what, every once every three years, so they don't know what to expect. So mm -hmm. to just be able to take control of that call, you know, we have a script that our CSRs use every time. It's the MDP script. Um, so they know exactly how to take control of the call, to calm the customer down, book the job, instill confidence in them that a plumber will show up. This company is coming, That's you know. Mm -hmm. And it is that simple, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how, you've started this now. This is a few months now, you know, in, and it's it's going. Guys, I wish we should have done this. But they saw it. They did it. <laughs> but so have you noticed, you know, so you, you have some time down the road here, a couple months in here, and you have all these new CSRs. Um, has it mattered that they didn't know plumbing? Is, is mm -hmm. knowing plumbing an issue or what, what, what's been your experience um, with now all these new people? Yeah. Yeah. None of our CSRs know anything about plumbing and we make sure of that when we hire them because we give no plumbing advice. I think I saw a company called Plumbing Explained. We don't do that on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's because it's not about, you know, the customer needs a, a plumber. That's why they're calling. They don't need someone's advice. They need someone to fix their issue. So we don't, someone asks questions, oh, yes, we can We can help you with that. I can send a, a technician right out. Mm -hmm. Let's get you on the books. Perfect. We don't answer mm -hmm. plumbing questions. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Which makes it more efficient. Yes. And it gives Absolutely. The, it really gives the, the customer um, security, right? Yes. Because, okay, she's obviously done this before. She's going to get somebody out to take care of me and... I don't have to worry about it anymore. So, yep. yes. Mm -hmm. and, and that's Absolutely. what I, I love about Plumline. Not only the grass, you know, that the, the concept, the MDP concept. Yeah. Which I, <laughs> which I don't know if you right. must say so yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and doing that. But that's what that you noticed here because you did use other and tried. There, there are a couple other services mm -hmm. out there that are geared towards home services. Right. Um, mm -hmm. which causes kinds of problems, in, in, in my opinion, because the HVAC customer is not the same as a plumbing customer. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. there, there's a little different personality. I love that, that you've um, niched, it down. Yeah, niched it all down to plumbers, mm -hmm. to plumbing customers, yeah. because then you, it's easier yes. to train dealing with that kind of emotion 
of that, that consumer calling you and what those needs are, even though we're not answering plumbing questions. Mm-hmm. You know, and I love, I love that you've done that. Mm-hmm. Um, and just made it easy. Right. Because you know, every, then it doesn't matter what the customer says when they call in. I mean, they can say, how much do you charge mm-hmm. for this? Can you fix this? How long do you come out? Whatever, right? The, your CSR is just saying, yeah. sure, I can help you with that. How can yep, you have exactly. done that before, right? Right. And then get them on the books. Yes. So, and then it's up to the, the, to the um, plumbing company the plumbing. then to take care of it once it's on the schedule. And you do. Let, let's clarify that. Mm-hmm. So when a call comes in and your CSR books it, you're able to um, work within Service Titan or another, just Service Titan or any other um, software companies. Um, we'll we'll work with anything. Right now, most of our clients are with Service Site, but we have some with SkyBoss and Service Fusion. Mm-hmm. Um, whatever you have, we'll we'll learn to do it, and we'll train our CSRs on it, and we'll book the we'll book the call for you. And so you log right into their um, Service yep. Titan, right? Yep. Uh, and it's as simple as creating CSR logins. It takes five minutes. Okay. It's it's very simple. We we'll get in. We'll book the job. We do not dispatch. Because we know within every company, there's certain guys you always want to send this type of job, and certain guys you never want to send that type of job. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so we don't we don't dispatch and we don't put technicians on the jobs, but we will we will get the job booked. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know your dispatcher does that because you know your company. No one knows your company like you do. Right. So and the areas that you serve and who lives where and, and all those things. So yeah, once, yeah. once you get it on the grid, then it's up to the the company to. To dispatch it appropriately. As Lance says, yep, they um, book, we dispatch it. Great, great system. system. Love hearing right. that. Right. And Lance was, would have been a hard one to sell. Okay, Lance, I know you don't mind us saying because yeah. he's been he's been burned by he, another right. company. So um, if, if he's given you kudos, then, then that says something. So thanks, Lance. Uh, thanks, sharing. Lance. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, it, I think Lance likes a couple other things. First of all, you're, um, I love that you're flat rate, meaning you charge mm-hmm. per call. Right. Yes. Per yeah. Do you yeah. Want to explain our, that for Yeah. Yeah. Like one of one of our promises is that you find value in every every dollar you spend with us, right? So we only charge you for the jobs that we book, because we want you to know we're not charging by the minute. We we dealt with an answering service that did that with our customers, and they put people on hold. That's not an efficient way. That's not how you treat your customers. Mm-hmm. We want the job booked, so we charge you per booked job. And let's say there's a job that gets on there and it's not a job you serve. It slips in or something. Maybe it's a trailer. You guys don't do that. Okay, our CSR has booked it. You just let us know and we take that off your bill. Mm-hmm. Say, hey, we had to cancel this job. It's not a job we serve because we don't want, you know, we don't want to bill you for things you're not finding value in. Um, you know, we want this to be something that really helps your company thrive. I mean, it's helped us in our company tremendously. So it, uh, we want to be able to provide that to everybody. So, Sarah, if we if I have a plumbing company mm-hmm. and I hire a plumb line and you're answering my phones during the day and my phone, and so you're at the ready, right, to answer mm-hmm. the phones, and my phone doesn't ring one single time throughout the whole day, how much am I going to get charged? Zero dollars. Zero dollars. If you have a and CSR, on a day your phone... Oh, no, go oh what was that? No, go ahead. I was going to say, uh, on a day when your phone only rings for customers to complain... You still get charged zero dollars because we're not booking that call. <laughs> or how about um, somebody that calls and says, "I can get you to the top of Google," right? Zero dollars. Zero dollars. <laughs> but with the C- if you have your yeah. own CSR on staff, yeah, yeah. you're paying. Mm-hmm. You're paying regardless, right? Right. So that that's that's one of the things yeah. I love that you guys do is that it is per booked call. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. So, oh, well. which more than likely, if you got a booked call, you're making money. Yes. So, and if you're not, then you're doing something wrong, not plumb line. So someone, right? I, right. <laughs> and I, exactly. It puts it in, you know, in, 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 in my my hands right. or whatever. It's up to me. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Just book the call. Get the call booked. Mm-hmm. And I love that it's not about, um, well, I think Lance, who's on here, is a, is a great example. He covers a wide area. It's, it's Wyoming. And, you know, people mm-hmm. call from across the state or whatever that he is not going to service. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you're not so worried about, um, you know, where people are calling. The idea is to book the call. Book the call. Mm-hmm. Um, and then let let them worry. Let Lance triage the calls or mm-hmm. go through the call. Say, oh, that's not someone we serve. But you make it very easy then for Lance to come back and say, well, that wasn't our customer. This wasn't our customer. Mm-hmm. This wasn't our customer. Yeah. And you just take it off the. But you do work with them yeah. in the beginning to determine right. service area. But some, like you said, sometimes something slips in, right? So yeah. Yeah, yeah. How, how do you guys do that um, to kind of narrow down service area? 
Yeah, so when we're doing the onboarding process with the company, I'll send like a, a company detail report is what I call it. And one of the things we ask you for is the, the zip code served. So most of your listeners are probably um, on Google with LSAs. You can go in your LSAs, copy and paste the zip codes, put it right on that document. It'll take you five minutes. Okay. Um, or you can just, you know, type them all out, whatever you want to do. <laughs> but we, we go by zip codes. Okay. Or if you only service a couple cities and you service all the zip codes, you could put the cities as well. Mm -hmm. But that's how we determine. And if the, you know, like in Lance's case, if we see someone that's not in the zip code or on the other side of Wyoming, they won't book that. They'll mm -hmm. say, "Oh, I'm sorry, we don't actually service this area." Okay, perfect. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but I love yeah. that you make it again. It's not about the plumbing. Mm -hmm. It's about booking the call. Mm -hmm. Make it easy yes. to have these ladies build a rapport. And to empathize with the customer, make the customer feel comfortable, and, yes, you know, get, get, get the call booked. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. And one thing I think that makes, uh, like, our company unique with being the MDP, MDP booking, right, is that we'll always book for the next available appointment. Just mm -hmm. like what you guys always talk about. Say someone calls in at 8 p.m., my CSRs are not going to look at your schedule and say, oh, it looks like we have uh, one slot open at between 4 and 5 p.m. the next day. They're not going to do that. They will always book for the next available appointment so that you can triage what you guys want to do. Do you want a leaky faucet or do you want the water heater that just came in at 8 mm -hmm. p.m.? Mm -hmm. That's heater, that's please. that's on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to, you know, my CSRs aren't going to triage for each individual companies. They're just always going to book the call. You guys can triage and decide what you want. But really, our goal is that you have so many calls booked, you can just pick which ones you want to go to and yep. move the leaky faucet yeah. off and, and take the water heaters. Exactly. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It, it's perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, so many calls at 8 yeah. o'clock at night, then the next available um, uh, time slot is the next day between 8 and 12, right? Yep. So, right. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. And we do book uh, four-hour windows just to keep it simple for the company's dispatchers so you're not spending a ton of their time calling with the two hour windows um, that you might have a really day. And like I said, we're not looking at the schedule because we're just going to book the call for you to decide which one you want to do. Mm -hmm. So love it. Yeah, I love that system. All right. Hey, we'll be right back, Sarah. We'll be right back with Sarah with some uh, more nuggets of gold for you. Mm -hmm. Hey, but I got a nugget of gold for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And it's free. All mm -hmm. right. It's my million dollar blueprint. Mm -hmm. All right. All the specs mm -hmm. you need to build a successful self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business is all here in my million dollar plumber blueprint and it's free okay simply type free in the comments or go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free and grab your free copy today all right there we go yeah all right, let's bring Miss Delney back on here. Let's do that. And I, I know we want to um, bring up, she specifically said she wanted to um, talk about, what was the one question she said, Sarah? What, you said before the show, I want to make sure we talk about. Opening yeah. your phones 24-7. There we go. It. Okay, so enlighten yeah. us. Enlighten these plumbing business owners that are, are right. listening. Even though we talk about not yes. being open and maybe ourselves 24-7, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. But why is it important to... Be have available, the have the phones available 24 mm, yes. 7. Yeah, so as long as someone is answering the phones 24 7, you can advertise as a 24 7 company. And a lot of the calls that we are getting at night, we notice are big ticket items like uh, main lines, water heaters, things that are actual sort of emergencies because that's why someone's calling at night, mm -hmm. right? And a lot, the, we can book those for the next day. So a lot of the after hour calls we're getting are, are those good calls. Um, and I mean, just imagine thinking about the like the return on investment of what if all of a sudden you're getting 10, 20, 30 more calls every week that you weren't getting before. Mm -hmm. You know, what is that going to do for your company? What is that going to do to your revenue? I mean, take 20 times it by your average ticket. How much money are more? Mo how much more money are you going to make mm -hmm. by having those phones open and you're not on the phones? Right. Right. Someone else is answering the phone. It's a beautiful thing at night when I'm putting my kids to bed and my LSAs are going off. And I'm not answering the phone. <laughs> but I know the calls are being booked. <laughs> uh -huh. Being booked and, you know. and and you're only, again, I mean, you've got someone literally answering your phones 24-7, yeah. but you're not paying somebody 24-7 to answer the phones. Right. right? It's just a perfect yeah. call. And so talk about, too, yes. um, Sarah, the benefit with Google of being a 24-7 plumbing company. Or, yeah, that your phones yeah. are on 24-7. Yeah, so Google likes it. 
um, when you're 24 seven and they really like it when you answer your phones 24 seven. So if you're gonna be 24 seven, which it's a no brainer, everybody should be 24 seven cause you're gonna get more jobs. Um, well, so when you have someone answering those phones, hey, Google loves it 24 seven. You can get in your Alice's market is booked. It's just feeding Google mm -hmm. and it's gonna keep you at the top yes. when you're booking more jobs. Cause they like feeding you jobs when you answer the phone. Now, if you have 24 seven answering on and you're answering it, but you're only answering it half the time, Google's not gonna like that. No. And nope. they will let you know that they don't like that. Mm -hmm. yes, <laughs> so we, have someone on answering. Yes. For sure. We'll go back to a potty talk live where we had Katie from Home and Local Service on that talked about that very thing, that LSA, that Google mm -hmm. um, wants to make sure that, that you're serving their customer, which is, is the, the person searching. Right, serving yes. their customer well. And if you're listed as 24-7 and you don't answer the phone, big no. It's not a good not thing. Good. It's not good at all. And so this makes it, um, you know, Plumline makes it very easy for you to, especially being, um, you know, a guy that's still in the truck or, you know, a plumbing power couple that's mm -hmm. just trying, you're trying to, you know, put all these systems and do all this stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and get things in place. Well, it's, work good, on that? Um, it's good, too, for, again, if it's a plumbing power couple and the wife answers the phone during the day, it's tough to answer the phone every single day, mm. right? So if, if you know, use Plumline for Tuesday and Thursday so you can you know be out and about running errands or being at the kid's school or whatever it might be, right? right. It's, a, it's a way to just kind of add that extra service in. Right. You know, and then right. those after hours, you know, you have someone, Supplement, that's the word you know. Right. Mm -hmm. so, someone else answering the phone then, mm -hmm. you know, when the, the, for that seven o'clock call. And and Sarah, have you found that that uh, the customers, you know, uh, even at the after hours, they're not necessarily looking for it right then. They just know that okay, I'm taken mm -hmm. care of, and someone's going to be out here tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. do, do you feel that that's yes. the emotion? I would say at least ninety percent of the time, we're able to book for the next morning at mm -hmm. night because a lot of people don't actually when they call, they don't actually expect someone to come out. Once in a great while, you have that exception. Someone has sewage blowing up in their basement. You know, they, they need someone right now. But that's okay. I mean, they can call someone else, right? right. right. You have plenty of jobs now because you have plumb line. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but well, something else I wanted to mention is as far as Google liking, you know, you're answering the phone, is using, um, like, for overflow. Because we know when calls come in, if you have one CSR, they seem to come in, like, at mm. twos. Right. So to have a, someone answering overflow and you can set that up, that's also, that's huge. That's so you don't key. miss out on those LSA calls. Yeah. And that's well, a big deal that you yeah. just mentioned. I'm glad you, that's a nugget of gold there, gang, that, that she just mm -hmm. laid out there. Right, so and, let's be clear that uh, you you haven't turned your phone all the way over to plumb line. You're answering the phones, yep. but a, a call comes yep. in, which they always come in twos. They it do. Will, you can have it set mm -hmm. up to automatically roll over to plumb line if you're on the phone. Yes. Yep. So Guys. then you're catching that extra call, and that might be an LSA call that you're paying for, right? Or that now you didn't answer that LSA call. So it is important to always have overflow. Yes. Um, As opposed to having a second CSR answer. in your office, mm -hmm. kind of sitting there waiting for the phone to ring. Right. Do, 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 yes. Right. So yeah, yeah. guys, yeah, th that to me is is huge because again, it always, they always come in twos. Yes, we do. I always call it. It's like the, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Asian. They're like poltergeists. They always come in twos. <laughs> well, from that old movie. <laughs> we can sit here for, you know, two hours and the phone doesn't ring. Then all of a sudden, ooh, bam, ooh, bam. They all ring. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that, and so always. That, that's, that's a supplement, right? It's, right. Yeah. And, and that's smart. And technology now that you can do that. This is a no-brainer. Gang, this is a no-brainer. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. you need plumb line. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna push. This is one of these things I'm just gonna push on you. <laughs> if, if you're looking to be successful, you need you need plumb line. Mm -hmm. And um, Sarah and her crew are they're just, you know, are amazing. And if, especially if you are are one um, a plumbing business owner that's answering your own phone. Right. You have to use some. You have to use plumb line. You have to use something like this. And plumb line is obviously a great right. um, resource. So uh, let's see, Gerald. Hey, GB. Hey, GB. It's going to be set up so we can't. If we can't get to the phone, then the service can answer. Let's say after so many rings. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. See? And Easy that's answer, just something GB. you set up on your end. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you're say you want your you know your wife, she wants to answer the phones. Okay, but if she has kids or whatever. The kids are up. She doesn't want to answer it. You can set it to. Two rings. After two rings, it can come to plumb line, or after three rings, or whatever you want to do. But that way, it gives the, your CSR or your wife or whoever the option to answer it. But if not, no big deal. It will still get answered. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, 
Hey, GP, you need you need plumb line. Yeah, GB. And these are good people just like you. Mm-hmm. You know, and the lovely Liz. That's right. Yeah, GB, okay. You need this. All right. Mm-hmm. And it's um, the great to work with. It's just a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. It's easy. It's flat rate per call. If the, it wasn't a good call, yes. it's the, the, the they worker, know. they don't, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. You, you get, and, Sarah, you do um, have special pricing for Potty Talk Live viewers. Is that correct? Yes, we do. Yeah, okay. just go through uh, the website, and yes. I'll know what you're watching Potty Talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so if you go to the milliondollarplumber.com forward slash, whoops, plumb line, plumb line, all one word. P-L-M-U-B-L-I-N-E. Plumb line. So the milliondollar.com yeah, the forward slash plumb, plumb line. line. Yes. And there's a quick, <laughs> quick form to fill out, and, um, yeah, then they'll get in touch with you. Matt Pay, Matt Carter, Matt and Sarah are geniuses. This is a way to kill it nonstop, guys. Sign up with Plumb Line today. Wow. You need to pay Matt Carter later for that. So uh, and that's coming Matt. from Matt and Jess Carter, who are killing it. <laughs> You're right? So they, they know a thing it. or two. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, we... Uh, we're just super excited about it. And, and you guys are relatively new, right? New new service, yep. but I really haven't had too many hiccups. I know we've been kind of walking alongside, watching you guys grow, and it's, it's right. just been fun. Well, I love that the, it's a top-notch system you're using, mm-hmm. and e- even a couple of the people, you brought in a couple of key, key players mm-hmm. that have uh, vast experience call with a experience. call center experience. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a top-notch organization. Right. Um, yeah, Matt and Sarah are pretty impressive people. I wish we were that smart. We <laughs> <do>. <laughs> when we grow up, we want to be better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, okay, so Sarah, oh when they fill goodness. out the form, what's going to happen? They go on out to the milliondollarplumber.com forward slash plumb line, fill out the form. What happens? Yes, I will be getting in touch with them. I'll send them an email with our onboarding packet information. Um, and in that email will be like a company detail report. You'll fill out details about your company, such as like your diagnostic charge, uh, your zip code served, different things like that. And you send that back to me and we get everything built out and we'll, we'll get you rolling. Um, we have a pretty quick turnaround. Within a few days, we can start taking your calls. Sweet. So and at that time, it's really you, pretty simple. When someone fills, fills it out, if they have questions about pricing and all that, that's the time you can answer mm-hmm. answer that before they sign up. Absolutely. Well, correct. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, the price. I mean, guys, it's it's inexpensive. Right, it's, and it's, it's a no brainer. Really, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. So All Sarah right. Delnay, Plum Line. All right. Amazing. Yeah, we're super excited for you guys. Um, and just watching it grow. Yeah. Because it's a needed service. We know it's a needed service for for the small shops. You know, there's a lot of big shops and stuff. That's not what this. That's not that's not your avatar, right? Yours is right. where your heart is, where where you guys started out. So, so yeah. leave us with that. We Absolutely. got we have an expert on here in your experience. Leave us with one, you know, speaking to someone out there. You know, what what would be some advice that you would give? Whether it's answering the phone or, you know, you guys have grown your plumbing business from literally nothing to pretty, pretty, pretty good size yes. company. Yep. Um, well known in the community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess one one of the things I like to think that we're good at is outsourcing. So don't be afraid to outsource things to professionals, right? Mm-hmm. So use a, use an answering service. I mean, that's going to get you so many more jobs. Open your phones 24-7. That's where you're going to see growth. That's where you're going to get those extra jobs to make that extra money so mm-hmm. that you can grow. I mean, our company, we saw a huge difference. We saw about a 30% increase in revenue once we opened up our phones 24-7. Wow. And that was no coincidence. That's because we have more jobs. Yeah. <laughs> and when your guys convert jobs, it's more money. See, it, it's simple, gang. <laughs> it's, it's funny simple. how that works. <laughs> it is, it's so it's simple. And we, we always try to keep it simple. Like, mm. you know, what, that's the whole MDP system is keep it simple and simple works. Mm. Yes. Good. So, that's All what right. I would say. Simple Nuggets works. of gold there. Love it. Oh, Sarah, thank you for your time. Yes, thanks for coming and on. And join us. Thanks so much yeah, for having me it. on. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, she's oh, she's already qu- you already quoted, quoted now. You're 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 gonna be a meme. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Tell that other that other guy we said hi. Please do. All right. Yes. Uh, I'll I'll tell him. And smack him upside the head for me, <laughs> just just for fun. Okay. Thanks so much for joining the show, Sarah. I really appreciate it. Great job. All right. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye, Sarah. All right. <laughs> Hey, gang. Plumb line. It's a no-brainer, gang. Yeah. I mean. It's just so fun. And, again, it's just it's such a needed service. Right. And it's, it is relatively expensive. And the main thing I love is that it's per book call. So they could, your phone could not ring all day, but you've got someone sitting there waiting to answer it, and you don't pay an extra right. dime. 
And it works, says Patrick. And he's with 615 Plumbing. Yep. Out of Nashville. And it's so. keeping it simple. It's mm-hmm. just booking the call. Mm-hmm. It's not a, not about trying to answer all their questions of plumbing because that's not what the customer is looking for. It is not. You know, they it's, just want somebody to come. Are, in are you? Gonna, are, you know, they just want to know. I'm on the schedule. You're going to be out. You're going to be out. <laughs> There's Matt Del Ney, So proud. It should be. Yeah, he you did. Be. He did. He did well there, buddy. He did. I don't all right. Know how he did. Grabbing that one. <laughs> did you see the rock on her finger? He just I got did, her a new rock. I know. <laughs> all right. You better. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, hey anyway there, there we go mm-hmm. well hey what? um we've been talking about all these things mm-hmm. you know and one of these things is you know what the, the custom, mdp way the mdp Sarah way speaking that. of the mdp way yes all right if you're How looking to learn the mdp way <laughs> then you need to check out the million dollar plumber success academy all right mm-hmm. where we go over everything the mdp way all right the right pricing the right customer the right reason for even having this plumbing business the right marketing all right the right way to answer the phone the right way to outsource and we give you the you know who to outsource to and those kinds of things so that you can have a successful self-sustaining keyword they're self-sustaining so you can be on the beach Hey, just like the the, the, the Carters, Carters are, are here, right they're now. sitting on a beach down here in Florida, <laughs> while their their plumbing business is up there in Detroit making all kinds of money. That's right. You know, they're just hey, swimming in the money right and then now. They're swim- in the ocean, right, literally, ocean of money. right. Okay, and if you'd like to be swimming in an ocean of money here, check out the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. Type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success. Mm-hmm. All right, there we go. Love Great it. Show. Great, Great show. Great show. All right. Hey, before we let you go, I want to remind you that you were purposely, wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things, all right? So live like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the million-dollar plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.